going from McCaskey to Harvard um, was shocking, uh, but it was also, I, I, I went through it feeling really, really grateful um, because I, you know, not to knock anyone else, but I saw you know, a lot of, a lot of students at Harvard who had been in places where everyone looks alike. Uh, and I mean, I, McCaskey is just an extraordinary community. Um, and, you know, I, I went to McCaskey and graduated in 94, and it was a time where, and you all have to tell me if it's still the case, but it was just, there was so much more negative said about it than positive. Uh, I was actually really struggling with, um, I gave one of the, the graduation speeches, and I was struggling with, with what message I wanted to send. Um, and I ended up crafting a graduation speech that wasn't extraordinarily poetic, but it was, I included the news headlines that should be out there about McCaskey and that, that aren't the ones that you ever read. And, you know, it was like, it was like the math counts team and it was the gospel choir, like, I mean, kicking butt everywhere. And it was, I mean, it was, it was academics, it was music, it was just, it was, it was everything. Uh, and, you know, the teachers there are, are extraordinary. I felt so unbelievably prepared to, to be in college. Um, and I just, it was, it was a place where there, you know, it was, you know, there were, there were tough moments. Um, you know, I, there was, uh, there was you know, one of the reasons that the McCaskey had the reputation that it did unfairly, I think, was, uh, there was a stabbing, um, uh, right across the street uh, that nearly took one of my classmates' lives uh, right before I came in and started. Uh, and that sort of hung over our high school the entire time we were there. But you know, it, was, it was a community where I met, I met friends who I never would have met had I not been in that school every day. Um, you know, I just valued differences and you know, I think we just all learned a mutual respect, and we learned to not make assumptions about one another. And you know, the, I, I give a, a ton of credit to you know Carlos Lopez was the principal at that point, uh, and the teachers, and they just they wanted not just to teach but to foster that kind of environment. And so it, it was just a, it was a, a truly truly special place, and, and I know it still is. Uh, and I, I honestly, and I say this. Uh, and it's not exaggerating for a second, I, I would not be the person I am today and I would not be, you know, in this career, you know, without having, I've been lucky enough to, to go there.